Oh, welcome, Waffle Wolfettes. So we are back with the brilliant Immortals, Phoenix Rising on the PlayStation 5, and we are playing through this game on hard mode. And I hope you guys and girls are having an absolutely fantastic day. And if not, go and get yourself a cup of tea and you will feel much, much better, I guarantee it. Now, in the last video, we arrived in this new area and we met up with Athena, and Athena has been transformed into a child. Now, apparently, there is some sort of prophecy that Athena has heard that a champion was going to arrive and volunteer to help her. And when that champion arrives, he needs to find the Staff of Time. And with the Staff of Time, we will be able to pretty much go back in time to before the curse was placed on all of the humans and they were turned into stone. So that's apparently the prophecy that has been told to Athena. Now, we also, in the last video, had to prove that we were the champion and go and defeat the Hydra that has been hunting Athena. Not quite sure how the uh, Hydra was hunting Athena, considering it was inside one of the vaults of Tartarus. But we've defeated the Hydra, and we now need to take one of its teeth back to Athena to prove that we've killed it. And then she's going to give us our next mission. So let's go and uh, travel back to Athena and see what we need to do next. Lovely jubbly. Uh, it doesn't look like I can fast travel back there, so we're going to have to fly over. I think there's a bunch of, uh... yeah, there's a bunch of uh... wind things over here. I think I think there's wind things all the way up in there. No, we are going to have to do quite a bit of climbing then. They've provided us with a couple of mushrooms. How very nice of them. <laughs> Not going to be anywhere near enough. And even if you eat one mushroom, it does absolutely nothing. It doesn't give you any stamina, really, at all. It might stop you from falling if you're, like, very close to the top, but eating one mushroom does practically nothing in this game, so just don't do it. The only time you're really going to do it is when you first start the game and you haven't gained the ability to make potions. So that's the only time you probably will eat a couple of mushrooms. But any other time, don't do it. It's a bloody waste. And mushrooms are sacred in this game. You can barely find the little devils. I might have to drink a potion in a minute because I don't think we're going to get to the top. <laughs> yeah, let's drink one. Well, this is a nice way to start off the video with a very, 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 very strenuous climb. But you're bloody exhausted, ain't you, Arthur? Bet you are bloody exhausted. Come on, hurry up. There we go. I was trying to do a uh, Ares Wrath ability then to try and climb a bit quicker, but for some reason Arthur Pendragon just completely refused to do it then. <laughs> Little git. Oh look, there's, there's a lot of figs in this area, but there normally is when you're near like um, buildings and stuff and little like destroyed villages and ruins and stuff. That's normally where you find uh, figs. That's probably why Af uh, Athena's area is good for the figs. Aphrodite's area is good for everything else pretty much. Uh, and Ares and Hephaestus' areas are just arse for anything. <laughs> and very ugly as well. There she is. We were just standing out in the open for. I thought you'd be hiding again just in case I failed to kill the Hydra and it came to eat you. I thought you'd be hiding again. No, you're just literally standing here right out in the open where literally anybody could spot you. <laughs> well, it wasn't easy. But that Hydra won't be a problem anymore. What's the next step on the path? Ah, uh, next. The, the, the champion to be is supposed to aid the winged outcast. The winged outcast? Oh, the bird I rescued. I've already done that. This is going great. Wow, you're really excited about having saved a bird. That's weird. You're weird. But good. A weird champion is still a champion. I mean, I did more than just save a bird. You did it! Hydra Gonzo and Wingy thingy helped. Um, what was the ne Oh, yeah! So the next step on the path is to become like the great heroes. And heroes get blessings.
Thank you, Athena. Uh-huh. Big stuff, right? You'll be a hero just like Atalanta, Achilles, Odysseus, and Heracles. And then, the staff will be yours. Okay. So what's next? Uh... What was it? Oh, that's right. Study the paths of the heroes and follow in their footsteps. Nice. Then what? Then what? A fire without wind burns for no one. <laughs> That's so wise. You're saying I need to focus on the now. Go do a thing! Learn the hero lessons! Bloody hell, mate. If she weren't a goddess, I might have to shoot one right between her eyes if she carries on with that kind of attitude. <laughs> New quest, go do hero things. That's pretty much the quest in every single video game ever. That's what all of the quests are, go and do hero things. Most of the time you kind of question what the hero things are for. Like, uh, again, I'm going to mention World of Warcraft for the 90th time in this playthrough. Like in World of Warcraft where you're uh, tasked with the job of just murdering countless animals and collecting their asses. <laughs> go and collect 10 bear flanks and shit like that. Like, what is the point in that? I mean, I, I mean, I suppose if you read the quest text, that might actually tell you. Normally, it's probably to feed the population or some shit like that. But still, I'm pretty sure heroes have more important things to do. I'm pretty sure the night elves can go and hunt their own boars and get their own food. I'm pretty sure I've got more important things to be doing, like taking down the Burning Legion or the flipping undead hordes of Northrend or taking down a monstrous dragon that's bloody burst out the ground and is tearing flipping Azeroth apart. I've got many different jobs to do in that game, but no, no, I'm sure I've got a moment to go and collect 10 bear asses to feed people. <laughs> okay, so this mission, we pretty much need to uh, study the four wraiths in this game. Obviously, we're not going to be doing anything with the wraiths, we just need to study the heroes and just learn about them. for her stubborn refusal to marry and her legendary skill in the hunt for the Caledonian boar. Look, I've been married a bunch. She might have been onto something. I'm sure your wives would agree. I thought you've only had one wife, Zeus. I thought Hera was your only wife. Man, you've been a busy boy, ain't you, Zeus? You've been a busy boy, although you are a god, and you are the god of the gods. So I'm pretty sure everyone wants to be with you, so I can kind of understand the temptation, but still, you should have a little bit more self-control, mate. Look at these little arsehole boars over there staring at me, waiting to eat my flesh. Oh shit! <laughs> Fucking go away! I was hiding, that's why I was crouching. Look, come on, bear, I don't want to kill you, mate. I like animals, but you forced my hand now, didn't you? Are they still looking at me? I don't know if I can start it. No, I can't start it until they go away. Have they gone away? Nope, one of them still wants my flesh. Look, will you pack it in, Chunky Lappy? Are you coming over for it? Right, that's it. Let's fuck them up. They've had enough time to leave me alone. Look, I warned you both. I didn't want to do this. I didn't want to do this. I made it very obvious that I wasn't wasn't in the mood to fight you, but you forced my hand, didn't you? Little devils. Where's the other one gone? Oh, it went back over there, okay. <laughs> At least that one learned its lesson. Probably saw me kill its friend and it was like, nope, I don't want none of that. Stubborn Atalanta. First to strike and first to action. Okay. So pretty much we're going to relive something involving them. So with Hercules, you might do something involving strength. With uh, Atalanta, you might do something like hunting prey with... Oh, the weather changed. When you do stuff involving Odysseus, it might be something like sneaky and stealthy or thievery or something like that. And uh, I can't remember what Achilles is. I think it might be about his weakness and his heel. I think that might be what you've got to do. You've got to fix his hill or something. Something random like that. <laughs> I think we just need to kill the boar though. It's got to be that one, ain't it? Because they just mentioned that she was famous for hunting some sort of boar. It's got to be this one, ain't it? Jesus! 
was the first to pierce the hide of the Caledonian boar. Her story was a remarkable triumph for perseverance after her father abandoned her in the woods and she was raised by bears. All because she was a girl. The gods, I, myself, would never do something like that. Just ask Athena. If I can get a word in edgewise. I'm just uh, making it daytime because I don't like playing in the dark. Because for one, Arthur Pendragon might be scared of the dark. We don't know. And also, I just like how it looks in the daytime. It's a lot more beautiful. Okay. So, that was like a 10 second uh, task. Now we've got to go and find the steel of Achilles. Hopefully I'm saying it right now. I know Keely New One gave me a bit of shit for saying it wrong. <laughs> so, I'm trying to say it right now. Achilles. But, um, yeah. Now we need to go. I think we've got to do something involving a statue of him. Like we've got to fix the hill or something like that. Because he got hit by an arrow in his hill. And that's where the reference comes from or something. Alright, let me uh, jump onto my Pegasus. But yeah, we would have had to have done the mission where we go and rescue Phosphor. But we've already done it, so we didn't have to do it. Because that was part of the story. That's why he mentioned it. And it's just started calling me weird because I, uh, I was happy about rescuing a bird. I literally rescued some sort of legendary phoenix. Of course I'm going to be happy about it. Who wouldn't be happy about it? Who wouldn't be happy about rescuing literally any animal whatsoever? Anyone would be happy about that. Unless you're some sort of freak. Or some sort of animal hater. Well then, freak, animal hater, same thing, ain't it? Looks like there's one of those constellation puzzles up here. Oh shit. Go on Arthur, have a breather. Alright. Almost there now. During the Great War with Troy, the rage of Achilles devastated the Trojan forces before his exposed heel proved his downfall. For a mortal, he got stuff done. What a wrecking ball. But so tender. You felt like you could just open your heart to him. Zeus? He was no god, but game recognized game. That's all I'm saying, you know. Uh-huh. Starting to think he's got a bit of a, uh, a man crush on... Uh... Achilles, so uh, it was a badass and then was literally shot in the um, the hill and that was his downfall. What a way to go. What a way to go. Confident Achilles, the river Styx protected you from all, but alas, not all of you was protected. <sighs> oh dear, right. Oh shit. Oh, there's his foot right there, ain't it? Look, you see it in the middle. Oh, actually, I don't know if on this save file if I've got the ability to pull enemies close to me. Let's have a look. Let me just, just get rid of these shield gits. Yeah, I do. I've got it, I think. Yeah, I've got the ability now. So now we can pull, like, uh, harpies and stuff to us. Lovely. Oh, she's alive. God, the enemies keep jump scaring me in this game. Here we go. Right, let me just quickly grab these figs. I'll also grab those mushrooms as well. You want to try and get quite a few mushrooms because when you go to King's Peak, because there's so many mountains and that, and there's so many places that you could end up being caught with your pants down, it's good to have a lot of stamina potions just so you can save yourself if you start climbing somewhere and there isn't anywhere to rest. So you want to start stocking up on mushrooms as much as you can now and getting those stamina potions ready for the next area. Just carrying a foot. Oh. Triumph over Achilles' trial. Okay. Have we got to go inside a vault? Oh, for God's sake, I don't want to go inside a vault. Come on. <laughs> these places are the worst. The only negative of the whole game for me is these places. Is it going to be... During the war, Achilles was furious with King Agamemnon 
Oh, I remember that. He stopped fighting for the Greeks. With disastrous consequences, but yes. The will of mortals should not be underestimated. I think this is just a battle. Yeah, okay, we ain't got to worry about anything with this. There's also a bunch of traps in here that you can activate as well, so if you want to do that, you can. I mean, you don't really need to, but... Like, look. Oh, for God's sake. <laughs> it dodged it. Look at him hiding over there. Just trying to burn him with lasers. This actually might be a good place to get one of the trophies done. There's a trophy for killing uh, several of the minions of Typhon, or whatever they call it. Um with traps. So this might be a good place to do it actually because you've got control of the traps. So this might be a pretty pretty good place to do it in actually. I don't think you have to kill too many. I don't it's like five or ten or something. I love I love it that I've got that ability now. Such a great ability. Should have got it much sooner in the playthrough. In my own playthrough as well. Oh shit! Like a Cyclops threw a brick at me. Well, it's a bit bigger than a brick, but yeah. Shit, forgot to dodge. I always forget that you can still dodge when you've got no stamina, so then I just don't try and dodge because I think I've not got enough stamina, but you don't need stamina to dodge. Oh crap, I should have just eaten that big pomegranate out there. God's sake, what a waste. Oh, uh, there might be... Stubborn pride defeated Achilles long before that arrow pierced his mortal heel, Prometheus. But his courage and determination live on. There might be a chest around the back, maybe? I'm not sure, though. Yep. Yep, there is. Okay. Is there only one in here, or is there two in here? Just one. Oh, we might as well grab it while we're here. There we go. I do like these chests. They're very beautiful, aren't they? Very nice. Very nice looking chests. After studying two of the heroes, Phoenix's head was swimming with their histories. He found himself admiring the statue of Achilles. Oh, who wouldn't? Look at him! Hey, Achilles. You must have learned a lot on your adventures, huh? Or maybe you didn't need to learn anything. Guys like you and my brother, maybe you just know what to do. Well, so what if it's not easy? You weren't perfect, but look at everything you did. And with Athena guiding me. Thanks, buddy. Good talk. I'll keep trying. And you watch that heel, huh?
It's always nice to have a little chat with a blood. Your broken world uh -oh. does not deserve my perfection. Oh no. But I am kind. Oh no. God, I always hate hearing his voice. I always expect the Wraith to come after me. The best way to know is look at the volcano. If the volcano is erupting all that red stuff in the air, then you know, yep, uh, he's definitely sending a Wraith after you. If the volcano is fine and calm, then he's not. He's just, just threatening you to be a git. Okay, right. So, Odysseus is the one with the bow. No, that was Atalanta. I think Odysseus has a bow as well, maybe, because all the, all the challenges with the bow are for her, I think, maybe. I'm not sure. This might be a bow challenge, possibly. Oh, no, this is to, to do with, yeah, with a bow. Oh, there we go. Cunning Odysseus, you outsmarted the nation, angered the god of the sea, and won back the heart of your love. The god of the sea is Poseidon. That's not a good idea. Zeus's brother. Return Odysseus's ship home. I think the ship might be over here. Oh look, man, we're getting a lot of figs, aren't we? When the Greeks had given up hope of winning the war with Troy, the sure wisdom of Athena inspired Odysseus. He loves giving credit to Athena for everything, doesn't he? Literally everything. Oh shit. Do you like that? Flip it frying a javelin at me, you get. take this then. Return Odysseus' ship home. I think we might need to take it over where that Cyclops is. Oh. Maybe it's where that orange beam is actually. Can I uh, jump with this? Yeah we can. Okay. Bullshit. <laughs> that would have been a problem. I think if it falls in the water it might reset. I'll admit, I oh. like that bit when Odysseus told the Cyclops his name was Nobody. Then, when he put his eye out, the big dummy was all, Oh, Nobody has blinded me. <laughs> Wonder why it was a random Cyclops here. I guess it's part of the story, though. Can be quite clever sometimes, can't they? All right. So where are we? Oh, here we go. It's got to be here, ain't it? Determined Odysseus did not abandon his long journey home. Though his path was difficult, he saw it through. For a mortal, he did all right. I'll give him that. I'm not unreasonable. Okay, right, this one is pretty far away. Let's have a look if there's anywhere I can fast travel to. Yep, we can fast travel to the statue of Athena and then fly over. Very nice. But you don't even really have to spend that much time marking things when you're on top of that statue because as you run around in the game doing missions and stuff, things just get marked on the map naturally when you get near them anyway, so... <clears throat> I think this one, I think we might need to listen to what Phoenix says, maybe. Because uh, I think he's, it's like how many, how many things did Heracles defeat or something like that. And then you've got to remember the number. And if you step on the right pad, then it opens up a, uh, 
don't know if it's a vault of Tartarus or something for you to do, like a mini one or something, but it opens up some sort of door for you, and if you step on the wrong number, it summons a bunch of enemies. So if you listen to what he says and you select the right one, I think I remember which button it is anyway, but you select the right one and you ain't going to have to do much unnecessary fighting. I think anyway, I could be wrong. I remember something like that. I don't know if it was just a random puzzle, though. Of Heracles. Having to work for King Eurystheus must have sucked. You felt bad for Heracles? Nah, he needed to atone, but the king, adding the apples and Cerberus to the original ten labors, was kind of a jerk move. Nemean lion, hyper of Lerna, Nemean hind, Adamantian boar, sables of Aegeus, Stymphalian birds, Cretan bull, man eating horses, belt of Hippolyta, cattle of Gerion, golden apples of the Hesperides, and Cerberus. Twelve. So that's the 12 labourers. <laughs> Good job Phoenix is a storyteller and knows all the answers. Because if you look, there's a bunch of buttons all over the place that you can step on. It's this one, ain't it? Yeah, that's Roman numerals for 12 right there. If you didn't know what uh, Roman numerals, you'd be, you'd be fucked. You'd have to just step on random buttons. They teach you the Roman numerals in like junior school, don't they? I think that's when they first taught us about it. I need uh, something heavy. Actually, I could just take both of these. Oh no, never mind, there's three here anyway. Alright, I'll put one on that. Completely missed it. And we'll put two over here. I think two is enough. Hopefully it's this one then. The twelfth and final labor of Heracles, to capture the vicious pet of Hades and guardian of the underworld, Cerberus. Oh, I remember that. That was epic. And to think he accomplished it while he was mortal. All right, so we have to enter that head now, go into a vault of Tartarus, and we've got to fight the three-headed dog Cerberus. You probably know him in Hercules. You've probably seen him, ain't ya? I kind of wish you fought that. Did you ever fight that dog in God of War? I can't remember. Like, I know there are there are three-headed dogs in um, in God of War Three. I think the other ones as well, because you can ride on them when, when you like when you beat them up enough. You can ride on them and then use them as like a weapon for a minute and then cut their heads off. But uh, I don't think there was ever like a proper boss, like a big giant three-headed black dog that you could fight because it's like a three-headed Doberman or a Rottweiler in it. Yeah, that's a shame. I flipping love God of War 3. If you've got this far in the video, let me know in the comments below because not many people make it to nearly the end of my videos. My average watch time is about half of the video, which is better than some channels, I suppose, but still not the best. But if you have made it to this point in the video, let me know in the comments what is your favourite, God of War 3? Or I'm going to call it God of War... You could call it God of War PS4 or you could call it God of War 4, whatever you want to call it. But let me know what your favourite one is in the comments. For me, it's God of War 3. God of War on a PS4 was brilliant, but um, it lacked those big, amazing bosses. There was practically only really one main boss in God of War on the PS4. I'm not going to spoil it, but uh, yeah, there was a couple of other bosses as well, but they were more like mini bosses or just like generic kinds of things. So uh, I reckon in God of War 5, though, with how they've left it, there can be some very amazing bosses in the next game. And with the PS4-5's power, especially if it's a PS5 exclusive and it's not being held back by the PS4 as well, it's going to be phenomenal. Absolutely phenomenal. The Hound of Hades. Only a two-star difficulty as well. Alright, let's pop me potions. There he is, Hound of Hades, Legendary Cerebos. Legendary, look at the amount of damage I just did. I think he does the same attacks as other, other uh, free-headed dogs. He'll probably do that thing where he charges up his energy and then explodes. But then you can get a free few hits, so it's pretty good actually. If he even lives that long. Why ain't he a black dog anyway? I thought the Hound of Hades... There we go, when he does that you get a free few hits. 
and if you use a Phoenix dash quick enough, you won't take any damage from the explosion. Fucking annihilated, mate. Hey, look. Oh. Oh, this might be the uh, one that's good, actually. The Phosphor uh, skin. Heracles had many human flaws. He was quick to anger. He cheated on his wife. He was boastful and proud. Be fair, though. He kicked a lot of ass. For a mortal, you mean? Uh, yeah. Right, of course. There's nothing worse than a fucking cheater. Absolutely nothing on this planet is worse than a bloody cheater. Right, uh, let me have a look. I think this might be the skin where Phosphor does more damage. It looks a bit weird, but it's... Uh... Oh, no. That's a good one, though. Refills one health chunk on a hit with Phosphor, and it normally does three or four hits. That's, that's pretty good, actually. That could be pretty damn useful, especially if you're having trouble with the game. If you've like picked a higher difficulty and you've, uh, you're a bit out of your league, but you don't want to lower the difficulty, this could be pretty useful for you. Or if you're new to games, this could be pretty useful, actually. But there is one somewhere in Athena's area, or it might be in King's Peak, maybe, where Phosphor does extra damage per hit. What's this? I guess when you, when you press that button, you're going to get a cube, and then all of these dogs are going to start shooting fire, and you've just got to carry the cube over without being hit. But fuck it, we can do it like this. <laughs> I tried to avoid doing it on YouTube, as I've said a few times, but in that situation, you already know what to do. You don't need me showing you. So I just used a clone. Right, let's get out of here, and let's end it for today. I didn't know you could skip that, that little scene where he picks up the lightning. I pressed circle by mistake. Oh well, you can skip those little cutscenes then, that's good. If you're in a rush. Athena! Oh! Hi, Phoenix! How's the... Uh, championing? The heroes were so stubborn. And they had their flaws, but... They were so sure of themselves. In some ways, their flaws were what made them great. Sure, sure, sounds great. Super wise stuff. Is there something over by that temple? No, you stay away from that temple! Uh, staying away is a lesson too. And wisdom, and fate, all the things. You leave the wisdom stuff to me. Meet me at the Moria Tree Sanctuary when you're ready. The stuff of time is nearly yours. That was weird, right? You guys thought that was weird. No? Temple key. And it's Athena's symbol. This must be what she was looking for. Oh, I get it. This is my own hero puzzle. She gave me the clue and put this here for me to find. So I figure out my own path, just like the heroes. Good boys, stay. I tell ya, Arthur Pendragon, sometimes you are so bloody irritating. <laughs> You're so bloody irritating sometimes. Well, you're bloody irritating as well, Beowulf. Well, fuck you, Arthur. And fuck you too, Beowulf. Just having an argument with Arthur at the moment, I apologise. But yeah, I'm gonna have to end the video now, Wolf More Bets. Next time we'll find out what we're gonna do with this little owl key. But I don't think we've got too much more to really do in Athena's area. I, like I said, it was very, very quick with the actual like story stuff. And then uh, I guess we'll be ready to head over to that nightmare of a place. I bloody hate that place so much. <laughs> but yeah, thanks for watching Wolf Morpets. Hopefully you enjoyed this video. Like, share, and join the pack today.